And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wonder Dr. Phone. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock a disabled iPhone without iTunes. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So today I'm going to teach you how to unlock a disabled iPhone. And in this case, it's going to be an iPhone 12. If you forgot your password or your touchscreen is disabled for some reason, then it might be difficult to unlock your iPhone, but there's nothing to worry about because you're going to know everything that you need to know about being able to unlock your iPhone after watching this video. And as always, we're going to be introducing a couple of methods. In this case, we're going to be showing off two methods. And if you want to do this the safest way possible, in other words, if you don't want to risk causing any kind of damage to your iOS firmware while resolving this issue, then you're probably going to want to go with Dr. Phone Screen Unlock tool. So first off, launch Dr. Phone Screen Unlock on your system. And if you don't already have Dr. Phone installed, then do make sure to reference the link in the description in order to make sure to download that. And once you're in from the welcome screen, just go ahead and select the option Screen Unlocked in order to begin. And now using a lightning cable, do make sure to go ahead and connect your iPhone to your PC and then just wait a while as the application will recognize it automatically. And by a while, I really just mean it'll do it almost immediately. And then afterwards, go ahead and click on unlock iOS screen button since from here, you're going to be unlocking an, an iOS device. Uh, so you want to make sure that you do follow the proper procedures. And after it detects your device, it's going to show you an interface where it might ask you to put your phone into DFU mode. And if it does ask you, just make sure to follow the instructions that are going to be right on the screen for you as it is going to vary depending on which iPhone you're using in this case. So just proceed by following these instructions. And then from here, just make sure to provide the correct information related to your iPhone's model, things like the firmware version, and more in the new window if it asks, of course. And then make sure that you have provided the right information before clicking the download button. And then the application will automatically download the related firmware update for your device. And it might even take a while in order to complete the download as these updates do tend to be a little bit big. And then afterwards, go ahead and click on the Unlock Now button and then type in the confirmation code from the on-screen in instructions in order to initiate the process. And then once it is successfully completed, you will be notified on the Dr. Phone software with the following message. And, and then if you're not happy with the results, and you can just go ahead and click on the Try Again button in order to repeat the process once more. And then from here, your device will be like brand new as while it doesn't hurt iOS in any way, you do still have to reset your phone nonetheless. And with that said, you would be able to fix the iPhone or iPad disabled issue without iTunes, just like so. And now one of the most widely used methods in order to fix a disabled iPhone without iTunes is going to be through Apple's Find My iPhone feature. And it can be used in order to locate or reset, for instance, your iPhone remotely. And if you've lost your iPhone in the past, and then this would be an ideal solution to lock it or erase its contents without any trouble. However, it doesn't need to be lost in order for you to use Find My iPhone. And now just make sure to follow these steps. The first thing that you want to do is just make sure to log into your iCloud account on a web browser providing your Apple ID and password and visit the find my iPhone section and then tap on the all devices option that is going to show up on the next window. It's going to display a list of all of, all of your devices that are linked to your Apple ID and then select the iOS device that has been disabled. In this case, you're going to pick the iPhone 12 or I suppose I'm going to pick the iPhone 12. And then from here, you can go ahead and locate the device and force it to play sound, lock it or erase it if you want to. And to fix a disabled iPhone or iPad without using iTunes, iTunes, you do have to erase your device. So do make sure to click on the erase iPhone option and then confirm your selection. Wait for a little while as the Find My iPhone feature will remotely erase your iOS device. And needless to say, it will also get rid of that lock screen that you've been dealing with for quite some time now. And after following these solutions, you would be able to use your iPhone and bypass its passcode without any kind of trouble. And now when you know how to unlock a disabled iPhone without iTunes, you can simply use your device as per your requirements, of course. Now go ahead and pick your preferred option to fix your iPhone without iTunes as we have just offered these two methods. And that's it. Those have been two methods of unlocking your, your disabled iPhone without using iTunes at all. So which of these was your favorite method? Do make sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and leave us a like if you liked it and also subscribe for more content just like this. And now, until next time, enjoy.